the Chicago Council has had this unique role of elevating the issue to be the catalyst, the facilitator. This symposium has gotten a huge amount of interest from folks in the development community and the agriculture research community. So it's kind of become the center, the convention that you go to every year if you want to see people and know what's happening. In both developing and developed countries, more droughts, more floods are projected to have large effects on agricultural production. We're expecting to have two billion additional people on Earth by the year 2050. So we have a real challenge ahead of us on a global basis. Terrorists and nefarious actors will take food issues that occur in countries that are already weak and they'll try and use those food issues as a wedge to drive the people away from their governments. Our Advancing Global Food Security report argues that the United States can best contribute in three areas, science, trade, and business. I'd like to see a great more emphasis on science and eliminating trade barriers and bringing the private sector more effectively into a cooperative relationship with American institutions and with other research institutions around the whole world. We now know that to end hunger effectively we must work from farm to market to table wherever those tables may be. We believe very importantly that agriculture is a key driver of, of economic growth, both within countries and globally. Beyond the food, it employs 20% of the people globally and up to 65% in continents like mine in Africa. It's important to invest in agriculture because we all want to have healthy, lively, human beings that can contribute to the development of our planet. A quiet revolution is happening. The increase of input in agricultural production, the labor, the urbanization, and also the development of markets, largely driven by domestic and the international trade. So there is a, a strong movement towards rural institution change very importantly is for the farmers to be able to sell their products rather than just self-sufficient sort of subsistence farmers. We must invest in new knowledge, in new tools, in new ways of doing things. It's important to support women farmers because they are the ones who do most of food production. You educate a woman, you have educated the whole community, the whole village. Over the course of the last four years, uh, we've more than quadrupled uh, the amount of money that's going towards agricultural development in developing countries. There has to be the kind of collaboration and associations that allow free dialogue back and forth. I think there's an opportunity to leverage technology basically to improve the efficiency in which communications of agricultural new practices and technologies are spread. As scientists, we have to make all this knowledge more accessible and understandable for the people that are at the end the ones that need all these solutions. When you come to events such as this, you meet these inspirational people and hearing their stories, it's, it's inspiring and you're pushed to continue and you combine ideas and you have these great initiatives. It engages everyone in the group to think about problems that we can solve, bringing in ideas from all the sides possible. It's critically important for the Chicago Council and for those of us working on these issues to build bipartisan support for food security. And the U.S. government needs to institutionalize agricultural development. We're all involved in a great transformation of the way we think about agriculture and food and the way we do agriculture and food as a society, as a nation, and as a world community.